Box Open Studios takes place for two weeks, covering three weekends during June every year. It's a fantastic opportunity to meet artists, ask them questions, learn more about what they do, see them at work and buy unique art from the maker. Buckinghamshire was one of the first counties to hold an Open Studios event. It's the largest visual arts event in the county and one of the largest in the country. From the more traditional crafts like painting and pottery to the more unusual skills of wood turning, basket weaving, metal working and glass blowing, there's something for everyone at Bucks Open Studios. It gives all artists, professional or amateur, the opportunity to show off their work and to demonstrate that, that living art is alive and really doing very well indeed in the county. Its aim is to give a flavour of what art and crafts are all about, suitable for all the family. I can be in my studio that I know um, and just hoping that someone will come along and have a look at what I do. Um, the intention is not to, for me to sell, it's to um, just showcase what I do and, and get the support of someone saying, yes, I, I like what you do, I like your work. Ask them questions, see work in progress and understand a bit more about their inspiration and the processes they go through to create the finished piece. There is so much talent around and it is wonderful that this talent can be displayed to neighbours and to the general public, to people who really have no idea of the creativity that is readily available in and around one's own community. We're lucky to have so many talented artists, craftspeople and makers spread right across the county. There are hundreds of different venues across Buckinghamshire, opening their homes, gardens and studios and running exhibitions showcasing a wide range of arts and crafts all under one roof. We've had people coming through our studios whom we've sent next door and vice versa. It's a place where you can find an inordinate amount of incredible work, ranging from fine art through to craft, glass, metalwork, ceramic, etc. Um, it's a hub. Some artists will also be offering demonstrations, workshops and events for the public to visit. I'm uh, displaying a lot of my, um, my private collection at the moment. So. They're welcome to have a go if they want to. I'd really welcome that because people don't, as you say, it's a dying trade. There are not many of us here around. And I can give the opportunity to actually pick up a piece of glass, put it in the flame and blow it and just see what happens, just for the experience. And if they wanted to carry on, I'm quite happy to, um, to start classes. The best thing about Bucks Open Studios is that it's completely free to attend. The hard part is deciding which artists and venues to visit. To help you decide, we produce a colourful event directory which is in geographical order, allowing you to plan your own art trail in particular villages where you live. There is also a map in the middle showing you exactly where in the county people are taking part. No matter where you live in the county, there will be something near you. Venues span right from Olney in the north down to Marlow in the south. And you can pick these up in libraries, leisure centres, shops, pubs and schools across the county from about May each year. So uh, these will be dotted around. Um, so if you spot one of these, you know you're in the vicinity of an artist. Um, follow the signs and you'll seem to fall across either a, a glass blower or a ceramicist or a photographer like myself. Find out more about the event at www.bucksopenstudios.org.uk and if you're on Facebook and Twitter, we're there too, so come and join us online.